Hi everyone, this is Aaron for Zolotech. We're going to review the LG Intuition. This is LG's latest smartphone slash mini tablet meant to compete with the likes of the Samsung Galaxy Note. This is $199 with a two-year contract on Verizon, and overall you can see it's a big rectangle with a five-inch display. It's a pretty nice display though. It's 768 by 1024 with 256 pixels per inch. It's an IPS LCD. You can see the display is pretty nice, vibrant and is really responsive it comes with this little uh, stylus that unfortunately has no way to place it anywhere or hold it anywhere so you have to carry it separately with you in your pocket or uh, i'm not really sure what they intended as far as that goes the specs of the phone are actually pretty impressive it has a qualcomm snapdragon s3 dual core 15 megahertz or 1.5 gigahertz processor a gig of ram 32 gigs of built-in storage no sd slot though 8 megapixel camera with flash and forward facing 1.3 megapixel camera. So, spec wise, it's okay. Comes with ice cream sandwich, ice, uh, which is Android 4.0 and has NFC built in and LTE. Now, if we turn the phone on, we can unlock it. Like I said, it's pretty, pretty responsive. There we go, it unlocked. I'm not sure what happened there, but the phone is just huge. It really looks pretty goofy held up to your head when you're making a phone call, but the design of it's a little bit interesting. We have our normal buttons across the bottom, back, home. Uh, we have our little no recent apps, our menu here as well for themes, things like that. The screen moves is really uh, responsive rather. The top is interesting in that it has a separate button for screen input with the pen. I'll show you that in a second. We have a little door here that has the micro USB, sleep wake button, headphone jack, little microphone on top. Again, on the back, we have a speaker phone, camera, and on the bottom, we have a couple little screws along with our microphone there as well. A little volume rocker on this side, and this side doesn't have anything else. No swappable battery, SIM card slot, and no swappable battery, so you don't have any of those advantages. Now, this pen doesn't work with things like the iPhone, so it's specific to this device for some reason. I'm not really sure uh, what technology it's using, but I can show you that here. I have my iPhone, can't slide to unlock with it, it doesn't work. So uh, I'm not sure what technology they're using in it, but it's a really responsive pen and, and works well. When we hit this button on top here, it goes into this drawing mode or writing mode, and we can draw however we want. It's, it's pretty responsive, works well, and we'll go back, get rid of that. But it's a little built-in notebook that's a nice feature, but I don't know that it's hugely necessary. I can uh, circle or whatever, and it may be convenient for some uses, and I'm sure someone will use it, uh, but I'm not sure that they want to carry this giant phone around with them. Battery life seems to be pretty good, though. I get uh, more than a full day's use out of it because of the large battery that's in it. The actual battery is 2,080 milliamp hours. You'll get about 16 hours of talk time, supposedly five and a half hours of standby, and in 4G, you get about the same. So you get a full day's use out of this, really no problem. It does have NFC built in in the back, so you can use your uh, ta uh, your tech tags or whatever you may want to use as far as those go. The phone itself is just this giant slab. I'm not necessarily sure I can recommend it. Uh, next to a Galaxy S3 and an iPhone 5, you can see here if I, I line them up, the width of this thing is enormous, and they really haven't rounded the corners like they have on the Galaxy S3 to maybe make it feel a little bit better in your hand. It's just this giant slab of phone. Call quality is pretty decent. It's got lots of room for the antenna with a plastic back uh, that I didn't mention before, and it works well. It's very fast, very responsive. But again, you really have to want this uh, specific type of device, I think, in order to pick one of these up. Overall, though, it's it's definitely something different and unique from LG. Uh, again, there's no slot for the stylus, and that's a bit of a pain. The phone itself is a decent phone, has a decent camera, has decent battery, but isn't phenomenal in any area. It's lacking a clip for the stylus. There's no way to carry it around conveniently, and is just a giant slab that could easily slip out of your hand and probably slam into a floor and shatter the screen probably pretty easily. Although I won't do any drop tests, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was fairly easy to break, even though it is Gorilla Glass. If you have any questions or comments, please place them below. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.